In this video, I'll be discussing about nerve blocks for scrotal surgery. Uh, to understand about nerve blocks for the testis and the scrotal sac, we have to understand uh, the embryological origin of these structures. The testis are embryologically uh, derived from the same level as the kidney and therefore share a common level of innervation uh, that being the T10 L11 for the pain conduction and T10 to L2 for sympathetic innervation. As the fetus matures, the testis descends uh, into the scrotal sac and the scrotal sac itself uh, derives its innovation uh, from uh, the ilingual and genital femoral nerve anteriorly, uh, whereas the posterior part of the sac is innovated by the perineal branch of uh, pudendal nerve. Uh, this has been depicted in the schematic diagram uh, where it shows the uh, sympathetic innervation. Uh, coming uh, from the T10 and L2 level and uh, the uh, uh, nerve supply to the scrotal skin uh, which comes from the ilingual nerve and uh, genital branch of genital femoral nerve uh, on the, which is uh, supplies the anterior part and perineal branch of pudendal nerve that supplies the uh, posterior part of the skin. Uh, another nice schematic diagram uh, showing that the anterior part of the scrotum is supplied by lingonal and genital femoral branch uh, of the genital femoral nerve, genital branch of genital femoral nerve, and the posterior part is supplied by the posterior scrotal nerves, also known as long scrotal nerve nerves. <coughs> uh, the Blind blocks uh, from the scrotum are very simple. Uh, now to block the uh, ilingual and genital femoral nerves, all you need to do is uh, uh, pinch the skin over the spermatic cord uh, lying little to the pubic tubercle and infiltrate along the spermatic cord just under the skin. You can actually hold in most patients, you can hold the spermatic cord. You need to do repeated aspirations because there are quite a few blood vessels uh, lying uh, within the spermatic cord and around the spermatic cord, which I will show in a, another sch uh, schematic diagram. Now that would block the uh, sympathetic fibers and the nerve supply to the antipart scrotal nerve, uh, which is most of the time uh, more than enough for uh, the simple uh, surgeries on the scrotum like hydrocele repair, or uh, for biopsies on the scrotum, sorry, of the testes. Uh, but if you want a complete analgesia, you need to also block the perineal branch of the pudendal nerve, and that can be done by local infiltration of the uh, posterior part or the base of the scrotum. Uh, just pinch the skin on the bottom of the scrotum and infiltrate local anesthesia all around it uh, to catch the perineal uh, branches. We can also perform uh, uh, ultrasound guided blocks uh, like I have shown in my other videos. You can block the uh, uh, genital femoral nerve, lingual nerve uh, uh, near the pubic tubercle. Uh, so basically after the asepsis and uh, preparing the probe, you place the probe uh, just along the inguinal ligament on its medial side later to the pubic tubercle. And here you should be able to see the spermatic cord. Now the ilingual nerve lies uh, just under the external spermatic fascia, uh, which is derived from external oblique, uh, whereas as the genital branch of genital femoral nerve lies on the cremastic fascia, uh, which comes from the internal oblique and transverse abdominis muscles. And you have the other vessels, like testicular artery and veins, the pampiniform plexus, sympathetics, uh, lymphatics lying within the uh, vas. And uh, uh, this is the arteries and vein in the vas as well. And this is a video of the uh, ultrasound guide as primary cord block. Okay, that's the uh, your uh, medial side, that's the lateral side. Uh, the uh, needle coming from lateral to medial. Uh, that is the spermatic cord and that has gone uh, through the fascia of the uh, external uh, oblique muscle. 
uh, this is very near to uh, the superficial ring, inguinal ring, and you can actually see the uh, structures within the uh, uh, spermic cord here. And the local anesthesia will seep down to all the all the branches uh, uh, we need to block. Uh, perineal uh, branch of the pineal nerve can also be blocked uh, under ultrasound guidance. And for this, the leg need to be put in a frog-like position and the probe is put in the uh, groin uh, uh, just a little to the scrotal uh, skin uh, so it goes uh, sort of uh, much deeper to the uh, your pubic tubercle and inguinal uh, crease and and then you actually come from again from a uh, little to the medial it's more like anteroposterior uh, oblique approach uh, to the perineal branches so what we are going to see is, is a lot of fascia and fat which is present in this area. Uh, so now you can see the posterior scrotal nerve and arteries actually traveling. The arteries are very small, sometimes they are not uh, visible uh, at all on the scrotal area. Uh, and this is actually just a blown up uh, image of the same area uh, showing the nerves the, uh, supplying the scrotal, posterior scrotal screen. And this is a video of the same. Okay, you can actually see the facial lata, okay, and the where is the fascias. And the needle approached again uh, from, like I said, it's more like anteroposteriorly. And uh, you can actually see the uh, nerve branches. Uh, actually, multiple branches actually can be seen in this in this video. Where we're trying to deposit local anesthetic around the nerves. Uh, towards the end of the video, you can actually see uh, more of the branches. That's one have uh, seen here, and there are a few more seen here. Again, you have to be careful and aspirate uh, regularly while uh, yeah, you do the uh, infil uh, local anesthetic administration, and because there are branches up there, you can actually see the, the nerves, and there are quite a few branches of the perineal uh, nerves uh, there. Uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, we will come back for more again.